Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to make the beautiful Serena Crochet Floppy Sun Hat. This one uses a stitch pattern of offset shells and so in the three-part video series we're going to start with working the crown then we're going to switch to the offset shell stitch pattern and work the walls of the hat then do a concentrated row of increases and work a slightly modified stitch pattern for the brim in the second video and then in the third and final video I'll show you how to add wire to the brim of the hat to give you this beautiful structure. There is a pattern you can follow along. The link to the pattern is in the video description and this project uses Be So Fresh yarn which is my sport weight 100% linen yarn. You can find information on the yarn, the hook size, and everything else you'll need to make this project at the link to the pattern page. You can also order the pattern as an instant download or as a printed pattern to have mailed to your home. Let's get started. First we're going to tie our yarn to our crochet hook. You may use whichever method you prefer. You can use a slip knot or a square knot. Doesn't matter. There's no wrong way to tie your yarn to your crochet hook. And we're going to start with a chain five. You want to slip stitch to the fifth chain from your hook to form a chain five ring. And now for round one, we're going to work all of our stitches into that chain five ring, not into the individual chains. We're working in a spiral, not in rounds for the crown of the hat. And what that means is that we're not going to slip stitch to join at the end of the rounds and it gives a more invisible seam. So in order to begin a spiral, we're going to start with a chain one and work a single crochet in the ring first. Single crochet is insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. And that's a single crochet. Notice that I'm working over my tail yarn as well. I'm holding the tail with the ring and that way we'll be covering up the tail as we go and not have to weave it in at the end. Next is a half double crochet. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over and pull up a loop. You now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Half double crochet. We're going to work ten more half double crochets in the ring. Okay, this is what the end of round one should look like. You should have one single crochet and 11 half double crochets. Now we're not going to slip stitch to join because I want to work this in a spiral. And I'll show you in the crown of our finished hat, notice how you don't see the beginning and end of each round. And that's because we worked in a spiral instead of joining with a slip stitch. You see that slip stitch. It's subtle, but you can still see it. And so this is another option if you don't want to see that in your project. So now we're just going to pretend like we joined and just start round two. Uh, this is a, the point where you may optionally want to add a slip stitch, I'm sorry, a stitch marker in case you have trouble counting the beginning and end of your rounds. Round two is going to be two half double crochets in each stitch around. So we're going to start with this stitch right here, the first stitch, and work two half double crochets both in that same stitch. Okay, and just in case you want to add a stitch marker to your project, I will add one here just to show you where you would put it. You would want to add it to the first stitch of those two stitches so that you remember what the beginning of your round is. So we did two half double crochets in the first stitch. We want to do that in each stitch around. So we had 12 stitches at the end of round one. You should have 24 stitches at the end of round two. This is what the end of round two should look like. And now we have 24 stitches. To begin round three, we're going to remove the stitch marker temporarily so that we can work into that first stitch. And the repeat for round three is to work two half double crochets into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so there's the beginning of our repeat and we're going to add that stitch marker back to the first stitch of those three, like that. 
and so for the rest of the round the repeat is two half double crochets into the next stitch and one half double crochet into the next stitch. This is what the end of round three should look like and you should have 36 stitches. We're going to temporarily remove the stitch marker so we can begin round four. Round four begins with two half double crochets into the first stitch and then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So our repeat is four stitches for this round. So we'll count back four stitches to mark our first stitch at the beginning of the round. And so now for the rest of this round, you're going to work two half double crochets into the next stitch and then one half double crochet each into, whoops, into each of the next two stitches. And you want to repeat that all the way around. This is what the end of round four should look like and you should have 48 stitches total. Before we begin round five, I'm going to remove my stitch marker just to be able to work into the first stitch. So the repeat for round five is to work two, double, two half double crochets into the first stitch and then one half double crochet each into each of the next three stitches. So our repeat is five stitches total for this round. We're going to count back to our first stitch of those five to mark the first stitch at the beginning of the round. And so for the entire round, we're going to repeat two half double crochets into the first stitch and one half double crochet each into each of the next three stitches. And repeat that around. This is what the end of round five should look like and you should have 60 stitches total. We're ready to begin round six, so I'm going to temporarily remove my stitch marker so I can work into the first stitch. Round six, the repeat is two half double crochets into the first stitch and one half double crochet each into each of the next four stitches. Count back three, four, five, six, and mark that first stitch. You don't have to use the stitch marker, but it is very helpful if you don't feel like um, counting your own stitches and repeats. So the repeat for the rest of the round is the same, two half double crochets into the next stitch, and one half double crochet each into each of the next four stitches. And you want to repeat that all the way around. This is what the end of round six should look like and you should have 72 stitches all the way around. We're ready to begin round seven. So we're going to temporarily remove our stitch marker so that we can work into the first stitch. The repeat for round seven is to work two half double crochets into the next stitch and then one half double crochet each into each of the next five stitches. Okay, so we'll go back to the first of those seven stitches, four, five, six, seven, and remark the first stitch at the beginning of the round. And so for the rest of the round, we're going to repeat two half double crochets into the next stitch and one half double crochet each into each of the next five stitches. Now that we've completed the crown of the hat, we're ready to start the walls and we're going to use a different stitch pattern. We're going to use an offset shell pattern and we begin by working a single crochet in the next stitch. Skip two stitches and work five treble crochets in the next stitch. Treble crochet is yarn over your hook twice. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're now going to work four more treble crochets in that same stitch. Okay, skip the next two stitches and single crochet in the next stitch. The rest of the repeat for this round is to skip two stitches, five treble crochets in the next stitch, skip two stitches and single crochet in the next. So you want to repeat that all the way around for this round. This is what the end of round eight should look like. You should have 14 shells and 14 single crochets. And as you may remember, we are working in a spiral, so we won't be joining the stitches at the end of the round. We're just going to continue on to the next round. So for the repeat, we're going to single crochet into the center treble crochet of each shell. So there's five there. You want to single crochet into the middle one and then skip the next two stitches and in the next single crochet, work five treble crochets. Then we're going to skip the next two stitches of the shell and working in the center stitch of the shell, we're going to work one single crochet. Then we'll skip the next two stitches on the shell and in the next single crochet, work five treble crochets. And that's the repeat. So you're going to repeat this all the way around for this round and for each round until you finish the walls of the hat. We'll repeat this for all of round nine and all of rounds nine through 26 to complete the rest of the walls of the hat. In the next video, I'll show you how to do the concentrated increases to begin the brim. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to watch all the other videos in this series to learn all of my tips and tricks for making a beautiful Serena crochet hat. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.